Right, we're going to finish this painting off today. Uh, I probably will end up um, a bit more highlights and rings here because I think it's a little looking really. But I don't want to do it right now because I'm going to be painting stuff here. I don't want to, I just kind of want to see how it looks as a whole and we can always come back to the end. But for now, I think I'm going to, hold one sec. I was tweeting something out and that's like the best place I could do it is upstairs. Anyway, so what I was going to do is, yeah, I'm going to add a um, tree here, I think some uh, land coming around here, and uh, pretty much it, and then like a little fishing spot here, I don't know exactly what I'm going to do there, might have it so it's more an organic thing, some rocks and we'll see. Um, so yeah, let's uh, get painting. So I think what I want now is to... Okay, yeah, I'm just going to start adding the landmass here, I think. Good place to start, really. Oh dear, this brush feels a bit... Uh, a bit stiff. In there, hopefully. I'll use this one for now. This one will be fine. One second. Right, oh yeah, one more thing before I start is I want to get my chat visible here. Because there's no way I can see it from where I'm streaming it. I uh, use this tablet to try to watch it, why, but for some reason I'm having a hard time. There we go. Oh, no. Yeah, here we are. Okay. Yeah, sorry about that. A little slow to start. It doesn't matter. We'll get there. Uh, right, so I'm thinking some raw umber. I think burnt umber is usually the more popular choice, but honestly, there's not that much difference between them. They're both pretty browny looking. But I want that nice, deep, rich burnt umber, and I might just go ahead and stick it on there as is and I can always mix in some colours later you know I tend to do that quite a lot so kind of want it to was going to have it so that it does you can see it circle around here I'm not sure if I want to do that anymore or not but we'll see how it looks I can always do add that in later Peter interrupting my streams for the uh, Are you going to say this to just say? I'm not sure. Uh, just get whatever you I guess. Um, 
I'll get you some money out there after that. Or to you. Me and Peter are doing some power weights. We're turning into beasts. So don't na- leave any nasty comments that you'll have two beasts knocking at you though. Oh, we're joking. Uh, anyway. Yeah, so I'm just going to try, I'm just going to get a block in this colour really. I just want to get rid of your whites. It always just looks better once you've got, it looks more complete once you've got rid of the white really. And it's a good idea to do that early on. And in future streams, I might even damp block some colours in, let it dry and then we'll go from there. But I probably will do a couple streams showing you what I do to do that. You know, if I do kind of get into that habit. But we'll see. I, I've not really developed a, a particular sort of method of painting. I just like to try different things out, stay loose. This paint is really... Uh, it's, it's, um, it's running out really quick. Yeah, burn home, but let's get some of that on there. See, this is raw umber, this is burnt umber. It actually looks a little darker, a little more uh, richer. But it's not that much different, really, once you, once you get it on there. It's only the... Uh, complete experts, I guess, that will know what might be... Uh, there's a very subtle difference between the two. And I'm not really painting on anything spectacular. This is just a piece of plywood, so you do get a little bit of rough corners and edges, but I had uh, my stepdad had a load of plywood that he wanted to get rid of, and I thought, well, I'll paint on that, you know? And so I've just cut up loads of pieces of plywood and I'm just painting on it, and uh, kind of, I was painting on canvases at one point, but while I'm sort of learning, I just kind of got a little bit, the canvas was kind of getting in my way in a sense. It was just kind of like, I paid quite like 15 pounds for like a deep, a nice canvas, but uh, I'm sure you can get it cheaper. But when you pay a lot of money for a canvas, it kind of, it's on your mind, oh, this has to be a good painting and you've got all this kind of, you hire your expectations and it's kind of like, oh, well, I've got to make something, I've got to be able to paint it good enough to sell, you know. You know, if you're doing as many paintings as I am, it will start to sort of great on you mentally in a sense like that. It'll, you'll just be more concerned about, oh, I'm wasting a lot of money here. So try and get your hands on something if you're starting out, try and practice on some something that's not going to deter you from painting. It's not going to kind of be like, oh, well, it cost me money to paint it. You can do it for virtually nothing if you get the right materials, you know. And, uh, you know, you're not going to be... I mean, it's, it is good, you know, it's, a, it, you know... Sell, being good enough to sell your paintings is a cool motivator, yeah. But I think you need to, I think you need more than money to motivate you to do something long enough. Because, you know, say you're starting out, you're not really that good at painting. And, you know, you put your paintings up for sale, no one buys them, and that's your only motivation, then you're just going to quit, you know, you're not going to be you're going to think, oh, I can't really become successful at this, or, you know, I, I, I think you should start out with having fun with something first. At least, this is, this is exactly my uh, own sort of story, really, anyway. This is how I kind of came to be with my current sort of view on painting. It's like, I started out, you know, oh, it'd be nice to make profit from selling paintings, be able to sell them, and, uh, And, you know, I would just kind of, you know, I never think 
that my paintings are good enough. Like, who'd want my paintings? Who'd want to buy them, you know? And uh, I just wasn't ready to, you know, I still am feeling that way a little, but, you know, that's why I need a, I wanted to motivate myself with joy rather than wanted to enjoy it again. I wanted to find out why I did it in the first place. Cause when you start out and you're doing that, I mean, I've been doing that a long time, to be honest, and you can start at any time you want. You probably have, you surprise yourself how, how easily you can come about artistic ability. And the most important thing is an experience. It's, it's, uh, I think it's uh, motivation, passion. Because if you enjoy it, no matter what, you're going to keep doing it and then you'll get good at it. So you've got to feel your passion in a sense. You've got to find the right philosophies, the right perspectives that work for you, that get you to pain. And I just had to rediscover why I enjoyed doing that in the first place, you know. And uh, I'm kind of, I think I'm starting to discover that again, you know. I've got a nice array of colours in here anyway, and I think I might actually connect this up here, rend that off, try and get that to, to gel later on. It's a little odd right now, I have to admit, but I think I can get it to, to work. So, um, now I want some kind of, like, uh, I think I'll have a fishing spot kind of like here, really. And what I want is probably a little something coming in here, like a little shape coming into the water here. So I'm just... I'm just kind of blueprinting things right now. I'm uh, not trying to get any particular floor or anything. Uh, I'm just trying to get some sort of mental image of what I'm actually uh, doing, really. I'm just trying to like uh, figure it out as I go, really. And what I want. Maybe I should add in my tree trunk here for the big old tree that I'm adding. It's a nice big tree. Get some of that like that ombre in there. And I've used a lot of that already. So I want a nice, nice tree happening around here. I think I'll have it there. Kind of lean in this way, I think I'll have it. Yeah. It's nice and thick as well. have to be super detailed yet just get your outlines in not that you want to paint along but you know don't worry about it if you are just gonna get my outlines in not worry about it. just want to get this, this trunk feeling nice really I think that's a nice thickness pretty good it's a bit skinny actually say if I was sat there I guess it would be about right. Maybe uh, it's a pretty young-ish tree. Get some more burnt over down. It's a nice solid dark colour that actually.
just want to get a little bit of juice nice and crisp. Sorry if I'm covering your view there. Yeah, those edges a bit crispier. Uh, now we're going to go with the thinner brush. This one's getting a little warm down. I think it will be fine once it's just going with that. Okay. Yeah, but definitely a little bit of finish brush. I kind of want to have a branch come in all the way around here. Oh dear, that is not coming off there. Be better off uh, planning your. Probably better off working out what you want shape to be before you add a whole bunch of thickness there because you can always go thicker. It's a lot harder to go thinner. So it's probably good to start out with a thin brush and get your shape down and then go from there, really. to do is well, the lights coming in this way so I want this to provide a bit of shade here so someone could sit down there in the shade on a nice day and uh, do some do some fishing it's kind of the idea of what I wanted for this a very simple painting well sometimes just a simple painting is all you need really it's just like a you know You know, when it's nice and sunny outside, you don't need much. You just can just enjoy, enjoy it for what it is. Just the pure and simple beauty of the weather. I think as these streams are going on, my ramblings are becoming more incoherent. Inco 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 so I'm trying to get my words out. I've never been much of a speaker anyway, but it's even harder when you're trying to paint as well. Yeah. Nice thing about dry paintings is you can just rest your hand anyway, you don't have to worry about smudging it. I'm quite liking the way this shit is coming out, quite liking got going in here. It's a nice uh, tree shape I'd say. Get some more branches and stuff. Let's just get this down a little thicker. Probably a little skinny in, in a way but we can thicken it up where it's lacking. This tree, so far so good. It's one of my better trees, which isn't saying a lot, but everyone's got a weakness and mine is trees. 
just uh, haven't had much success with them. Uh, okay, I'll find another branch here. Some branches overlapping. I kind of want to give a bit of care to this tree. Really, this is this is the whole point of this painting was to get to improve my trees, and I really want to make a nice tree. So. Nice to do that. Nice uh, dynamic tree would be good. Get this stump and a broken branch near it. Uh, just trying to give it some life, really. I think we'll be nearly done with the shape. I'm quite liking it. Decide to stop growing there as well. Yeah. Don't know what made it bend that way, and I have already actually added a smudge here. I just wanted to get the shape down. I'm gonna probably add some some sort of bushes here and there. Yeah, and I think we'll do that for now. Let's just clean this up here. It's been dumped in here a while. So yeah, if you've got any questions, if anybody's watching, two viewers, you guys got any questions, then feel free to say so in the chat. I'll be happy to answer. If not, it's cool. You can just sit and watch. Okay. A little bit cooler today. Not as hot as it has been, which is nice. It's nice to have a little bit of a uh, right, okay. So now I kind of want some bush sort of things going on here. I think we'll start out with some green, so that burnt in well too. 
Jesus. Mark. It's gonna be pretty, pretty rich around this part. It's gonna be pretty rich in colour. It's gonna be quite dark as we close, at least at the very sort of back end colours of it. spot a little bit of uh, grass sweeping in use too much of this brush to be honest because it's very indescript it doesn't really uh, it's very hard to get it to uh, it's very broad really I just want to kind of splatter on some very basic shapes with this and I'll go in with another brush. I think that's a good start with this brush. I think I'll put that one back. Let's try and get some more defined shapes going on. So I just wanna I just want shapes a minute. It's nice to vary up your colour as well. So I'm gonna try and do that now. Very of color. 
this and it, it just kind of tricks your eyes into thinking there's a lot going on and it's just the way you use your colours really get a variant of colours it can go a long way to, to build in the picture for you. Just be a basic backdrop sort of blocked in plants. Not that I've mastered the art of doing that by any means, but I have noticed it from one painting or another, but it does help. I'm just gonna... It's very uh, hard to get the colours to show up sometimes though. It doesn't matter because we're not. We're going in with the darks at the minute. I kind of want like a, a path here, I think. A little path. So let's get that going. And here's a nice colour to go with. Right here. Right already there. Very bright looking path. Like a good technique I've found to do a path. Just do this. And start to see what it does. And start adding more colours. Good thing all around really to do. You could probably do a lot with it. It's very simple. Idea of a path. some sort of brush strokes there, maybe go in with a, a thin one and try it. Mm. A, a nice, a good brush for doing that with is something that's long, kind of got like a, you know, like it's long like this and it's thin that way, so I don't know what you call it, like a, some sort of fat brush, but I don't know the technical term, you'll have to bear with me. I should call this painting for plebs because I have no clue what any of the terminology is. This will probably be our next best bet for a thinner stroke. And then we want to get some variant in there. I want some darkers going in. Let's mix a dark and yeah, let's try that. Yeah, not quite as dark as us. Obviously there's going to be less detail as it goes further out, as it comes in, that's sort of thought really. And uh, let's get some more dark there, it's just not dark enough yet to really make it pop. There we go, this should be dark enough. I'm going to take a step back and have a real look at it and start really carefully adding in this dark here and there. Try and create this illusion of rocks and dirt and dusty paths. one side than the other, the light's coming in this way, I'll probably, I don't want it to be too prominent though. That's 
as we uh, step back. Should start to look like something's happening. Some light grey here, let's try some of that. Obscuring your views, trying to get out of your way here. You do it just as well from here, so. Get the pattern to look more sort of dirty and earthy by padding it down with a bit of thing and starting to look how I'd like. Looks a little uh, thingy though. Um, I could need a little more dark back in there. Just to challenge is to push it into the scene really. That's the challenge. These plants would cast some shadows here. Yeah, that's looking a little more in the scene. I can always come back and change that. Need be. And now I'm going Add in some highlights, I think. Or should I? I should probably do this tree now. Get the bush, get the main leaves on this tree, and then I can sit back, have a look, think about my highlights a little bit, and do my finishing touches. I'm quite happy with the. Composition. It's not not the best, but it's it's not bad, and I think it'll I'll be able to see it as a whole and think, oh, this needs bringing out a little more because I think as it is now, it doesn't really pop out any more than what's in the background that much. I guess the darks help it, but the the highlights really gonna push it forward, which is what I'm. I always look forward to that part, but you can overdo it, and I do tend to get a little overexcited and uh, ruin it. So, let's see. Nice dark green. Nice deep green. I'm going in with the uh, with a heavy, a pretty heavy brush here. So I have to be careful. It'll probably be like a branch coming. 
one here. Tends to come up above. But you probably get a little bit there. A little bit. So I'm trying to think about each little sort of each branch and each twig of the branch and it how it each uh, forms a bunch of leaves so there's probably like something going on here I'd say and as it comes out it's going to get thinner I just want to kind of really capture that I don't want to overdo it at this stage because I'm trying to learn here I'm trying not to overdo it I don't want to do that I just want to very careful really not to overdo it and I think just by placing them in the right place it's going to go a long way to helping me out I uh, don't know if this brush is, is my friend right now I think I'm going to switch brushes I think this is a better brush for me right now it's a little more uh, a little more fine tuned I wasn't doing too bad with that one, but I could just sort of see it going wrong. Ah, this is much better, yeah. This is much, much nicer. Gives me the option to have a broad stroke, but it's got a very nice, delicate stroke as well, which is very useful. I just want to kind of... don't want to overdo it, really. This faded effect going on on my edges here. So I'm just trying to feel it out a little more than usual and get it on bit by bit and add to it rather than think, oops, swash it on. And really want to take my time this time. This is the important part for me right now. This tree. This tree is everything. Wanna make sure I've got the right darkness going on. Don't want it too much mostly in the the, the sort of fat parts of it is where the it's gonna be majorly dark. to get that just trying to get as much sun as possible up here I'm just really reaching up for that sun there's probably like a lot of leaves going on around here this is where the, the majority of the tree is going to be from a branch I didn't put in you know you've got to not every branch is going to uh Vis be visible in a tree and uh, just try and uh, try my best not to overdo it. It's like a little mini tree of its own right there. Okay, maybe we'll leave that as it is, see how the shape naturally looks. Uh, it's a weird looking tree, I have to say. But I do want it to have a unique character. I don't want it to look like these trees in the background that are just kind of blobs in a sense, they're not. I wanted this to be the, the focus really, this tree. I 
this to stick out and we need it to be dark. We need shadows really so that we can, our highlights will bring it out and it will have depth. So you want to start out dark really. As a general rule it pushes it away from the background and then your highlights will mean more or something so dark. You know what I should have done. I've just realised I should have actually added highlights onto my uh, tree trunk before I had, but it doesn't matter. I can add them in afterwards. I guess we'll see how that goes. It might actually help me out that I didn't, so we'll see. This is usually uh, what I would do. starting to, to like what that is now thinking probably a bit more going on under here I think there'd be like a branch coming down here and having some trees there having some leaves sorry branches some leaves It's a pretty good, good looking tree I'd say, not too bad, definitely not, it's got something there, uh, just get it a bit darker under here, can't really see that, what's going on there, it's probably a little heavy but, just going to get some real darks in, just real darks at the bit you can see the brush strokes and stuff but it'll fill out even more as, as I add more um, highlights to it. It doesn't look there's a lot of distance between these two trees either which isn't amazing. of that tree. Let's just do the tree. Okay, so we want some nice light colours. Get some lights in. Obviously some nice yellow, some orcas for sure, when we get that orca out. So as it's coming out, I'm going to start seeing some highlights around the top. I want 
what, I think I'm going to go with an even. I'm going to go back to my very small brush for this. So I just want to be very delicate and not to overdo it. Because highlights, you can really mess them up. I think I like that colour though. Although there's not a lot of it here available. Get some more green out in a second. Oh dear. This paint's just eaten my paints. Now I've got something to use there. Tree color. Yeah, if you if you want to paint grass or trees or anything, I can't recommend this yellow ochre enough. It's just such a good color to mix with. It's it's great. It's just, it just gives you that yellow that you would actually find on a tree, you know. Obviously some, some basic yellow is nice as well, but it can be very like overpowering very quickly. I think that's roughly where we were. Let's see. Yeah. again these individual pieces here and uh, try and uh, give them all their own uh, give them their own spot in the sun sort of thing. with a third highlight as well for this tree. Just to make it pop out a bit more. Obviously I don't want to overdo the highlights but sometimes it's nice to, to come outside. Some of these highlighted trees come off of the shape. It gives it like a thin look, I think. At least like that's how it seems to go anyway. Kind of coming off like that, especially towards the top, you'd see them coming off just like that. Just straight out. High colours, those vibrant colours coming. Straight off the tree branches. Like I think it, yeah, it's something that I haven't really sat and really thought, mentally prepared myself enough for trees in the past, and I think you do have to kind of really sit and think about them a little. Maybe you don't, maybe you're naturally very good at painting trees, but for me it is something I have to sit down and really have a think about because otherwise I can just rush them. But I feel like taking my time, making a point of being very conscious about the fact that I want to improve my trees. It's helped me... Um, Help me to gain... Some, and we're getting a little bit of different colour here actually, it's a little weird type of green, very greeny green, I'll make some of that in there, just blend it in like that, and you know what, it's a 
we are greedy for. Don't quite like it. Very sweet looking green. Very minty green. colour now. It's not something I would usually, I would change it straight away because it, well, now that I've put it on a little, I think we're starting to become friends, me and this colour. This is so much better than some of the trees I've painted in the past. Probably my best tree, which is good. You know, it should be my best tree because I put a lot of premeditation into it. And now let's get them extreme highlights in. Those really bright ones. I don't want too bright, but just enough that there's a little extra pop there. too much, just, just here and there really. Yeah, again, come off the tree a little bit with them. think it's good for now. Let's just refine some of this shape here, get some of that. All right, just just on some of that. Just make sure we get some extra dimensions to these shapes. You know, I like that. It's the, the light's coming in. Maybe a little bit of light would come in here, a little tiny bit. It's a little bit more here. Where we can see there's like a something going on there. Take a step back and have a look. I'm gonna leave it alone now for a bit. Perhaps come back to it. Um, I will add some highlights into this trunk here. And now that I'm looking at it, yeah, it probably would have been easier to add those in earlier on, but. Uh, in fact, let's add them in there. Well, we're kind of focused on this tree. Some more in here. 
for a cup of tea right now. And I think I might be doing a midstream brew. Too light, not enough. I want some more grey, some more darks in here. I just want it to be a little greyish. I'm gonna burn me. More left right now. That's my cherry look. Yes. I think that'll be a good one. Just mix. It's not that much different, I think. But let's just get some. Any of my viewers, uh, perhaps, would like to donate a cup of tea to my parched mouth. Strike my prayer has been answered. Sand strike. A hero has come. Peter has come to aid. Has come to brew. Some strong highlights now. Nothing that really persists on the edges of it. Just sort of coming back, and I'm just thinking, yeah, pop it out a little more.
top side enough now. Too much of anything but let's push it back again. Let's see at the bottom of the line you can't quite get it. Just The shape of the but it's not too bad. to these parts here. We'll see how we look. shape a little bit here. you leave some dark in. Maybe you do. Otherwise you just lose any kind of shape. has counter aid. So we can kind of block it up a bit there. And really thought about what this is. Doesn't really matter if it's uh, there's some bushes.
script. I always want to have more highlight. I never know when to stop. That's no problem. Well, I'm just going to have a brew. I'm just going to sit and watch it for a little while. I'm just going to sit and have a look. So there's nothing exciting going to happen within the next couple of minutes. but. This is primarily about my painting and I'm just inviting you to watch it. You don't have to watch it though. I want some brighter colours in here. Overall. And for now I'm gonna leave this. I'm gonna get some 
of these rocks popping out a little more, I think. These are in the back, they are at the back and they're probably going to pop out forward a lot. Oh, oh, actually I like that a lot better. I do like that a lot better. Just stepping back and have a look and yeah, that was a good call. It needs it a bit on this path as well. Probably the same colour, maybe a bit lighter. There's a little bit of highlights coming through. Hopefully on this path. I'm looking to view there. that can sort of get you a good path look. back a little and then we'll add some of that highlight back in. We just want some of this to be very Let's go. 
I want these rocks to pop out more than the ones over there. That's what we want. Obviously they'd be bigger, but they'd also be uh, brighter, more detailed. We'll try and get a more description onto these rocks. Let's try not to make them look flat necessarily. Just try and give them a bit of a description, a bit of um, The grass. Well, the grass is overgrown, the rock, should we say? More likely the story. I think bring it forward a little. as well I think with the long
think I will go with some stronger highlights. Just on these points. I'll try and be very selective, I think. Push it forward, but a bit more. Yeah. I want some here, that's for sure. That's quite cool. I want Extreme sun car highlights. It's kind of what helped make it look like a sunny day, I'd say. can overdo it at this stage. here because the tree's in the way I'd say and a little bit that you know gets in a little uh, I'm not too liking this part this part I do like let's add some more highlights to this tree just push it out So it's not exactly super straight sort of light. Do did want it to be more of an earlier light lit thing. And that, oh yes, I do like that a lot more. Yeah. Probably add a little more highlights over here just on a few of those back end trees, just a little bit, just a tiny bit. I know I could probably overdo it at this stage, but I think hopefully it's not going to hurt too much. Just help separate the leaves and the shape. Push them out on this bright day. Isn't it? 
This brush, but I'll just go back in a tiny bit here. Okay. Yeah. Oh, one thing I do need to do is. Probably a bit too much of the same colour there, to be honest, but let's see. Add some highlights to those trees at the back. We don't want them as strong as as the, uh, the one at the front, obviously. One just enough, really. I just need to find the right brush. This one, maybe. Or maybe that little tiny one. Might be the one that I decide to use. It does take a while to get your brush to level up with this though. Too bright. Oh, far too bright. Like this, this should be good. too strong. much yet anymore. I don't really want to uh, think of anything, I want to push them back more. 
really. So let's try and do so with this brush over here. those back a little and find a good colour to do it with. Major block to get us the dark. Back in there, we need some shadows in there. spaced out super perfectly that which I don't like but yeah it's not much I can really do about that now. Uh let's get shadow in here. See that now. It's not a very deep shadow, mind you, but I don't want to sort of paint a shadow over the top of here and ruin it. But okay, let's 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 see if we can. Yeah, looks like it's. Doing it looks like it's working. Oh. Yeah, it's still all standing on. That's about as much as I want to do with this painting, really. There's a lot I could, more I could do with it, but I'm pretty happy with it now. I think it's turned out pretty good. Hmm. Yeah, it's not too bad. There's obviously a lot of things I would do differently. I would probably uh, 
but I, you know, I'm learning, I'm trying to uh, learn the basics. As I think mostly it's just going to take practice to get better at the trees. And I think it's not just the tree itself, it's obviously the spacing of the trees, the way they behave together and things, what, how you'd see them in nature. And I think that's what lets this down is these are very uniform here, the kind of plonk down one by one nice and neatly and uh, I don't think, I think it gives it, it gives it, you're just not going to see this, it just doesn't look convincing in a way, but in a lot of other ways it does, I think I've gotten this main tree pretty good and uh, I think it's pretty convincing, um, some of the bushes and stuff, the highlights, the colours of chores are good, um, yeah. The water is, is probably something I could have improved on as well, but I wasn't really concentrating too hard on water today. Or oh, three days ago or whenever I started it. So yeah, I think I'm going to call that finished and I'll see you next time on the next stream. Sorry if this wasn't very long. Uh, if you aren't following me already, just uh, follow me and uh, I'd appreciate that. And you can check out when the next one is. It should be tomorrow or a day after it's usually pretty close together i like to stream i don't like to leave it too long uh, i'm gonna try and stream as regularly as i can really so yeah thanks for watching and i'll see you next time